What's going on, everybody? Good afternoon. It is Monday, so you know what that means. You know what time it is. That's right. It is Snap Count Monday, coming off a pretty bad loss. So most of the stuff we look at is not really going to be good. Most of the stuff we look at is going to probably be a little discouraging, but that doesn't mean we just don't get to talk about it. So let's talk about the Seattle Seahawks um, snap counts on offense. Let's lead with the offense, as we always do. And right away, we see a big problem, right? 51 snaps on offense, which is a season low by a pretty wide margin. That is in line with what we saw a lot last year. And it makes sense, right? You had three and outs in that game. You had quick possessions in that game. We didn't have a lot of long possessions. Our one touchdown drive was in basically garbage time, more or less garbage time anyway. So um, you, 51 snaps on offense tends to be a recipe for a, a bad game and a losing effort. Of those 51 snaps, and by the way, the total right now is 538. So we'll come back to that in a second here. That number is relevant. <clears throat> Walker does take the lead with 28 snaps, but Charbonnet's out there a lot too. And I, I think that's mostly just an effect of the fact that we're always having to pass. Like, if we had a more balanced offense, I think Walker would play more. I don't think this is because he was sick. I think this is just because Walker is a inferior pass protector. And Charbonnet is considered to be the better third down back. And we're in pseudo third down situations constantly because we can't run the ball at all. And everybody knows it. And until that gets fixed, um, you are going to continue to see these numbers run together in all likelihood because we need to throw the ball so much. All right. Uh, wide receivers, it was basically what we expected where Lockett and JSN both had to play a lot of the game, but not really radically more than they usually do. And Jake Bobo tried to take Metcalf snaps and it went about as well as you would expect when you sub out a 4-3 speed guy for a 4-8 speed guy. So, yeah, there's um, not really much to say here other than uh, they just didn't have the talent to beat Buffalo and threaten Buffalo down the field and trying to live with these three guys. Like, there's just no speed there. Chenault got on the field for seven snaps, which isn't even a season high for him, so they must have very limited trust or very limited belief in what he can do, <coughs> right? And uh, Derek Young, four snaps. So there was no incorporating of those two guys to try to help mitigate the loss of DK Metcalf. So I, I you could chalk that up to a lack of creativity or a lack of belief in those two players. Tight end, Noah Fant, 31 snaps. A um, little more than half the game. Again, it it feels like he does better in games where he plays about half the game or maybe even a little bit less. Like, those are the games he actually puts up numbers. I don't know what to read into that, if anything. But A.J. Barner continues to be the secondary tight end on this team. 19 snaps, Farrell Brown had 15. This is the fifth game in a row where Barner's gotten more snaps than Farrell Brown. So the good news there is that, hey, A.J. Barner coming along quickly, right? He's already become a relatively important part of this offense. But the downside is that Farrell Brown is kind of dead weight. He's not really doing anything to help this team. And it's uh, $3 million that could have been spent elsewhere. And Brady Russell, four snaps, mostly at fullback, I think. So he just comes in there for jumbo formations. Okay, offensive line, little bit of a mess this week because of um, Olu Oluwatimi getting involved here. I want to be very clear about this. I don't think Oluwatimi played any snaps at center. Um, you can see that Connor Williams played 51 out of 51 snaps, so he didn't take from Connor Williams. Oluwatimi lined up at, like, tight end uh, three times in this game, in jumbo formation. So <coughs> that's kind of interesting, right? Um, don't know if he's ever done that before in his career, but we've decided he's the best guy for it right now. I'm sure when Fant comes back, it'll probably be, um, we'll probably be looking at something where it's Fant's, um, Fant's, uh, responsibility to handle those plays, but, uh, 51 for Cross, 51 for Tomlinson, 51 for Williams, and 51 for Gerald. Gerald played every snap. Um, the only other interesting thing here would be Anthony Bradford. 
who played 40 snaps, and Haynes got 11 snaps. So we continue to heavily favor Bradford. I, I Again, I really feel like you need to just commit. Just let Bradford have all 51 snaps in this game. I mean, Haynes came in there and got a really bad penalty, right? So it's not like he's playing well. It's not like he's doing his job. It's not like he's providing anything of those 11 snaps that we like. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, it for the offense. Let's jump over to the defense now. 76 snaps. So that's how you get blown out. You have 76 snaps on defense and only 51 on offense. That's really bad. And it's gotten us to basically equilibrium on the season. We are now at 537 on defense, which means we have one more snap this season on offense than defense. Not really a winning formula, people. Not really what you want to see from your team. So let's take a look at how those 76 snaps were balanced out over the course of this game, starting with the defensive line. So Leonard Williams, 50 snaps, which I think is about right for a game where you have this many snaps. Byron Murphy, 50 snaps. So he's starting to ramp up to the point where he can play more and more in a game. I have to admit, though, I think Leonard Williams and Byron Murphy both played pretty awful. I think that both guys were like legitimately bad and a big part of the reason why we had a problem in that game. So I can't really praise their play, but the rotations make a reasonable amount of sense to me. Jaron Reed, 40 snaps, makes sense. Roy Robertson-Harris, 29 snaps, which makes sense, although if somebody told me that he didn't play a single snap yesterday, I would have believed you because he had no impact on that game. Jonathan Hankins, 28 snaps. Um, fair, I guess, in a game where you have this many snaps. I get it. But we are talking about a defensive line that played really poorly, so you can't really say it worked. I think the rotation is about right. Remember, Morris was declared inactive for this game, not that he would play a ton anyway. Maybe he would bite into, like, Hankins' snaps or Roy's snaps if he was out there, but, uh, yeah. It's just what we have to do when we're playing a game with this many snaps on defense, but the players were bad. The players sucked, I think. Linebacker, very simple this week. Ernest Jones, the fourth, played every snap. Dodson played every snap. And you couldn't really have noticed much of a difference going from last week to this week. I do think that Ernest Jones, the fourth, is better than Baker, just by virtue of the fact that he's healthy. But we can see that his presence alone did not fix anything. You could make a argument that the run defense was worse against Buffalo when adjusted for opponent um, than it was against Atlanta, even. Okay, uh, edge rusher, edge rusher, edge rusher. Mafe, remember, he didn't practice Friday. I did make a note of that. Maybe that's why he played 46 snaps instead of over 50. But it's not a big difference, right? He's still out there a lot, and the fact that he had very little impact in this game is not what you want to see or hear. Derek Hall, 56 snaps. So he's really starting to become, I think, the guy that we think is actually a little bit better than Mafe as a player. And it's happening quickly. I, not necessarily in this game because both guys didn't really do anything. Da Derek Hall, in fact, picked up a very dumb penalty that cost us at least four points probably. But at the same time, or as a player, I do think this team is getting to a point where we think Derek Hall is actually better than Mafe. We really like both guys, don't get me wrong, but Hall is starting to kind of take over as the future number one edge on this team, I feel like, and I feel good for him. Obviously not so much today because he did make a very dumb mistake and get embarrassed in that game, but he's coming along, and Draymond Jones gets only 30 snaps. So that's interesting. After his best game as a Seahawk, he only plays 30 snaps in a 76-snap game. To my knowledge, he didn't get hurt or anything like that. So maybe we're trying to find some other solutions there. But with Uchenna Nwosu out, th this does surprise me that we got his snap count so low. Uh, cornerback, Witherspoon and Woolen played all the snaps except for the snaps where we had no corners on the field when they were going like super jumbo. Joby plays most of the game, 51 snaps. He did make a really nice play on the interception, but other than that, he was very... Uh, you know, he, he was very um, susceptible to getting beat up. Josh Allen picked on him. And Fion Hicks played seven snaps. I think it was mostly garbage time. <clears throat> I don't think he played meaningful snaps, if I recall correctly. And then safety, Julian Love plays basically the whole game. 
Uh, 69 out of 76 snaps. Again, I think there was some garbage time he came out for. Kayvon Wallace, 14 snaps, so he continues to just be kind of a sporadic cleanup guy. And Kobe Bryant plays the whole game, 76 snaps. And I didn't think Kobe played a terrible game. I'll say that. Like, again, I have low expectations for him. He's still adjusting to safety. He's our arguably fourth string safety. And I think he's actually doing some pretty good things. So good for him. And uh, that's it for Snap Count Monday. I mean, it, it didn't work, right? No, nothing on this team really performed admirably yesterday. There was nothing to be impressed by, but these rotations are, I think, mostly sensible. A couple things stand out to me as kind of a little bit confusing, but they're they're doing what they can. Just need the players to actually execute a little better at times. All right, I'll see you guys later. Go Hawks. More videos coming later.